Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Deep Deep Fishing. So in this video, we're gonna be fishing for smelt again, but we're only using jigs, namely cut down sabiki rigs and little tiny spoons. Someone made a request, so I'm just gonna do it because I haven't done it in a while. So we're gonna use the cut down, like I said, cut down sabiki rig on here. No bait today, not using any bait at all. These are size six Hayabusa hot hooks. Tiny little things, little bits of um, flash on there. Look like a little shrimp. And on the bottom, this is the cool part, my favorite part. So this is a VMC bull spoon. Little 16th ounce spoon. You could use a little heavier, a little lighter, whatever you want, but I like the 16th ounce. I feel like it gets down, um, it gets the job done and I feel like the profile is right with this particular brand and um, product. So this thing actually glows in the dark. So I bring my little UV light Charge it up. And this thing glows really good. Here so. are some of the other spoons that I bring with me. I usually don't use spoons that are larger than one and three quarters inch long. Um, so a classic one is that Swedish pimple with that little red tail. And I also bring with me some of my ice fishing jigs as well. That little red fly looking one right there is really deadly. I used that the past couple years fishing underneath lights. It grabs the attention of the smelt. I'm not sure if it's a little feathers on the side or the color or maybe both, but it works really well. As far as weight of the lures that I use, I will use as light as 1 32nds of an ounce all the way up to 1 8 ounce, and that seems to do the trick for most situations. I also want to mention that I do bring with me some little tiny tungsten jig heads that are used for ice fishing just because sometimes you are able to scoop up some shrimp on the top or even little sea worms you could throw them on the hook if you are using these little tiny jig heads tied direct to the line if you are using a sabiki rig with the spoon or just a spoon itself use these little vmc dual locks right here dual lock snaps that just enables you to switch out spoons quickly or you can just add a sinker to the bottom i picked a spot that's not really ideal right now for smell it is really it's a really low tide today i can see the bottom where i normally can never see it um, we're going to see if anything's over here. Just jig this around and see if you could draw attention of anything, really. I prefer smelt, but um, it's a beautiful night out and want to catch something, so let's give it a try. See a couple smelt down there. Come on, I see them. I see them, I see them, I see them. There's one right there. It's... I've never actually seen them up this close. He's gonna smack that spoon. He's looking at it. There's two of them down there. I never stare at, oh, yeah. Oh, I got a, oh, no, I got a stick. Oh, I got a smell. I don't know what these are. Let me sort this mess out. Hold on a second. All right, guys, got a smelt on the bear. Speaky rig right there. So there's one. I, it's it's really cool. Like I actually see them. I want to lean my camera over, but um, I'm a little nervous about losing a fifteen hundred dollar camera on the water. All right. Maybe I'll try. Give me a second. There's a couple down there. All right, guys. So this is going to be a first for me. So I'm like double cameraing right now, and I got to figure out how to do this quick. Hold on. I don't know if that'll work or not. Oh, there's a smelt right there. Look, he's gonna grab it. He's gonna grab it. Oh! All right, guys. So you see a couple smelt down there. I'm just jigging this. Be oh, there's one. I hope you guys can see that or not. There's one right. There. Yep. There's a smelt. There's a smelt on the sabik or the uh, spoon itself on the bottom. Just smack that little spoon. No bait on it. That's it. <laughs> All right guys, so we're at spot number two. First spot, there were a smelt there, but there was an overwhelming amount of silver sides there as you probably saw. Um, this spot right here, still using the same rig. Little tiny speaky rig cut in half, three hooks, little spoon. Glow-in-the-dark spoon. You don't have to use a glow-in-the-dark spoon, but that's what I like to use. Um, we're at a different dock, and we're going to try it over here. Still super low tide, so I'm hoping once the tide gets going, maybe we'll find some smelt. 
This is why I highly encourage to fish underneath lights. It doesn't matter LED or halogen lights. So you can see all kinds of bait fish coming up to the top. Silver side, you got shrimp here, which is obviously the prime forage for smelt. Let me see if I can see those sand eels again. Oh, that's a smelt. Uh, there's one single smelt. He's right there. That's a smelt. That reddish tinted one. Thank you, Mr. Smelt. Look at that, guys. That's a lot of herring down there. Got a smelt. Ugh. Little thing, but a smelt is a smelt. Drop this thing back there. You could see the, I don't know if you could see the amount of bait that's down there. It's ridiculous. So this is why you want to find a light if possible. Um, to help pull all these fish over, these bait fish. So again, just dropping it back down to the bottom. You can see here how subtly I'm working this rig. Very small movements, maybe moving that jig and that whole rig maybe three, four inches at a time. That's really all you need, very subtle movements. Good old shimmy. Wait a second. What the heck? Uh, that is a sand eel. So I just caught a sand eel. I know what he was thinking trying to grab this thing. He made a big mistake. He's bait. Hey guys, so we're at spot number three. Um, I'm gonna try for smelt again, but in the meantime, I have my whiting rod. And we're gonna see if we can't catch something in the meantime while I'm jigging for smelt. And if the whiting take over, that's totally fine with me. There's some big mackerel over there too. I just saw one swim off over there. Sorry, I'm getting off, off topic with the smelt stuff, but a little bit of everything around right now. Oh, there he comes, I see him. Come on, come on. What is that? Oh, what a horse. Catching these nice little mackerel on these little little tiny spoons, all kinds of stuff on them. We got a sand eel, smelt, um, now mackerel. Could catch a couple whiting on it. There's all kinds of stuff in the water. So proof is in the pudding. Little tiny spoons this type of year. Oh, there's one. Doink. Got him. Oh, I saw him hit that. Hundreds of mackerel around. Right, here they come. Here they come. Got one. Let's see if I can get two on there. Nope. Definitely not. Nope. <laughs> Let's see if I can get two on there. I think I got two, there we go. Our little rod. Two mackerel on there. Oh, I think I got two. Oh, all right, I can't, I have three hooks on there, but yeah, two mackerel. I don't think there's gonna be any smelt over here with if the mackerel are like this, I doubt it. Over here, we've gotten smelt. Um, we've got smelt at pretty much every spot that we've gone to. The last spot was ridiculous with the mackerel and the smelt aren't gonna to wanna to sit over there with all those toothy critters sitting over here. So we'll try and pick off a couple more here. What we got there? There's a smelt. So there we go guys, getting smelt on the spoons. That's number one for this spot. This isn't a big one, but um, you know what? The point is, I'm just showing you how to use the spoon. So, got one smelt over here. Oh, there's another smelt. Just a little one. On the spoon. Oh, there is one. Yeah, they're down there. 
you don't need a ton of movement when you're trying to catch these things just a little bit oh there was one oh did i get him there's another one so i got a couple on the spoon and on the bear sabikis good french fry sized one so i'm all right with that no big giant ones yet might not catch any bigger ones tonight but that's okay A lot of little ones over here, but you know what? Smelt or smelt. All right, guys, so it is one o'clock in the morning. I am exhausted. I just lost another, I lost two VMC bull spoons at this spot, and the smelt are small, so I'm not, I'm not gonna stick it out any longer. So caught about 20 smelt total today. Um, there were a lot of mackerel around uh, the first couple spots that I went. And once the mackerel showed up, there were no more smelt to be found. This last spot, they're here, but they're really small. Again, don't feel like losing any more tackle. Um, so the whole point of this video was that you can go online and order these sabiki rigs, cut them down to um, like three hooks, two hooks, whatever, and put a little tiny spoon at the bottom and you just use that. You don't need bait, although bait definitely does help. Um, but you can order this stuff and go fishing. So I was using little tiny sabiki rigs with size six hooks and a 16th ounce spoon at the bottom. You could use a 1 32nd ounce spoon, a quarter ounce spoon. Just give it a try. I'm sure they'll hit it if they're hungry, they'll try and eat it. They try and eat much larger um, forage than an inch long, even though they're tiny little fish. They, they have quite big mouths, so don't be afraid to just try something new. So um, yeah, just make sure you have an ultra tackle set up and get out there and find a spot make sure you have a spot with lights um, if you have a Coleman lantern a generator anything like that a battery with LED lights just put it on the water and just wait um, if you start seeing silver sides show up that's a good sign if you start seeing toothy critters like mackerel um, probably time to move spots or you can wait it out but um, yeah, this video is just nice, short, sweet to the point, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something or at least found it entertaining. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you.